Porsche has just patented a unique six-stroke engine that promises to be a game-changer. But how would this engine work, and what's so special about it? While a four-stroke engine follows the cycle of intake, compression, power, and exhaust, the Porsche six-stroke engine adds two more phases. The cycle would be intake, compression, power, compression again, power again, and then exhaust. I'll explain it better in a moment. This concept may sound futuristic, but it's not the first time someone has explored the idea of a six-stroke engine. In fact, in 1883, Samuel Griffin designed one, although it was never built. There was even a six-stroke design known as the Burr Head, in which the traditional valves were replaced, with a secondary piston acting as a valve for the exhaust gases. However, this design was seen more as a variation of a four-stroke engine. While this idea sounds exciting, the practical reality of bringing a six-stroke engine to the production line is hard for many experts to imagine. So, how would this revolutionary engine work? According to the patent, the six-stroke engine would have two strokes of explosion and two strokes of compression per cycle, allowing it to generate more power than a traditional four-stroke engine. The most significant difference lies in the timing of the valves and how the camshaft is adjusted to allow for these additional stages. Porsche's design is unique and complex. The multi-page patent, while technical, reveals some fascinating details. The crankshaft of this engine rotates around two concentric circles, with an alternating pivot point that adjusts engine compression. This reduces the distance the piston must travel and affects the compression ratio of the engine, resulting in dual upper and lower dead spots, allowing fuller use of the air-fuel mixture. To put it simply, a two-stroke engine completes a combustion cycle in a single crankshaft revolution, while a four-stroke engine needs two. Now, Porsche proposes that its six-stroke engine works with six individual strokes, divided into two three-stroke sequences. This results in more power, with a working stroke every three crankshaft revolutions instead of every four, as in conventional engines. Now, the question is, is Porsche's six-stroke engine viable? 